You cannot start your day without the workers prayer. Monday to Saturday 5.30 a.m. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, my name is Laura and this is my husband Neil. Uh, before we, we were coming to the church, uh, we were going through a lot of financial difficulties. Uh, my husband was the only one who was working and providing for our family. Uh, we had a mortgage to pay, we had a child to take care of and, well, the usual bills that everyone has. Um, unfortunately, he lost his job and we had no income coming in at all. It was very difficult to pay the mortgage, which was our main thing to do. Uh, we fought to get just the money for the mortgage. We didn't have money for groceries or barely anything that you need, necessities that you need. We didn't and could not afford it. Um, we came to the church and learned to use our faith and where we got the guidance, um, God gave us the guidance to start our own business. At first it was very tough because to start a business basically you need customers and you need uh, an income. So we didn't have any of those things but we went ahead and we tried. It was very tough but many times we decided to give up. We try to close the only business, but while it's going to church, the Holy Spirit keep telling us don't give up, keep trying, keep working towards the business. After the first campaign, the business started picking up. We started getting more customers, people were getting to know our products, and they, they were calling us. Gradually, it started to, to grow and constantly going to the church on the weekly meetings and getting the message and applying it. We, we started seeing the differences. I was able um, to go privately to have our baby, our second son, something that wouldn't really happen. And we were able to go privately to have him. We were able to furnish our home, brand new things that even when we moved in, we didn't have a chair to sit on. And you know, seeing that we, we applied ourselves uh, with, give, with the guidance that was given, uh, we started seeing the difference in our lives. Though things was going quite well, business was growing and everything, we felt that we needed something more in our life. We decided that we needed a new vehicle because the old one that we had was given a lot of problems. So I decided that we needed a vehicle. We both decided we needed a vehicle for our family, for comfort for a peace of mind and everything possible. So I had to sell the old one in order to attain the new one. Within as little as two days, we wanted, we had our eyes on a particular customer. And before having the opportunity to go to them, in two days, they called us and I, I ordered products from what we, what we sell. And that was amazing to see that how we put we dependence on God that we didn't even have to go the customer came to us. On top of that, the, the vehicle that we had in the past that we wanted to sell to attain a new one, we didn't even have to do it because God made a way for us to achieve the new one without selling the old one. So now we have two vehicles instead of one. The new one which is a, a wing road that we always wanted for space, comfort. Use your faith and you trust and you believe and you will receive the results like we did to achieve more things, greater blessings, because we know that our God can do that. All workers are people who are on the ground. On call, or sometimes have to put their lives at risk. From the start of the day until late at night, trying to solve problems to put others' mind at ease. In unpredictable situations, wherever they are, to try to make the economy go forward. This is why we bring to you the Worker's Prayer. I rise and shine, be blessed together. We are strong. Friday, the day for you 
to be shielded, the day for you to be protected, the day for you to have a light barrier that will envelop you, preventing evil from touching your life, preventing evil from succeeding in everything that it might be intending to do against you. Friday, the day God has set aside in order to shield you, in order to have His hands before you and behind you, in order to protect you. And speaking about having your body closed, yes, the closing of your body, I would like to share with you God's promise for this day, for this Friday. Promise of the day. For the word of God says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Matthew chapter 7 verse 24. If you hear these words which we are bringing you today, and you practice it, you will be building your house, your life on the rock. It will not be shaken. Nothing will be able to put you down. That's why we are calling you for the closing of your body. That's why we are calling you to have this spiritual barrier, this light barrier, this spiritual shield around you today, the last day of July. Because as we are going to enter the month of August, we are going to cross into the new month with this light barrier, with the hand of God before us and behind us. Yes, because who Whoever intends to curse us will not succeed because once we have our body closed, once we have this light barrier before us, behind us, beside us, above us, beneath us, no evil will be able to breach it. Therefore, I would like you to consider this word because whoever hears these words of mine and practice them, he will be considered as a wise man who built his house, his life on a rock. And the rock is Jesus, who will shield you, who will close your body and not allow evil to touch you. We have now come to our moment of prayer. This is our moment of prayer. My God and Father, in the name of Jesus, this day, Friday, the day that you have set aside in order to close our body, in order, my Father, to have your hands before us and behind us, in order to shield us, to envelop us, to bring about the light barrier before, beside, behind, above and beneath, that no evil will breach, that no evil will be able to break through, that no evil will be able to penetrate, we will be untouchable unreachable so i call on you oh god and i ask you right now that you may enable all those who pray with me this morning to have the chance to get to one of the universal churches nationwide today and receive this blessing have their body closed so that their business may grow, the work of their hands may be profitable, so they may advance, see their dreams come true, achieve, conquer. My Father, shield Trinidad and Tobago. May, O oh Lord, you close Trinidad and Tobago. May you put a light barrier around Trinidad and Tobago and all the other nations that now pray with us. That evil may not destroy, that evil may not prevail. But your blessings, your power may be revealed, manifested, and your glory may shine upon our land. I bless all those who now pray with us. And I determine this day to be a day in which a light barrier, a spiritual shield will be placed around them. And no evil will be able to touch them. And those who agree and believe say, Amen. My friend, you're blessed. We are waiting for you today in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God nationwide. Make an effort. Join us. Have this spiritual shield, this light barrier around you. The hand of God so evil may not touch you. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together we are strong. David had many enemies, but none prevail against him. For he was in close. For it is written, You have hedged me behind and before, and lay your hands upon me. 
On the other hand, many people are vulnerable to so many attacks from their enemies. Witchcraft, depression, and great financial failures. That's why we invite you to receive the real body closing with the oil that was blessed by the pastors and be victorious at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., especially 5 p.m., and also 6.30 p.m. at number 40 South Key, Port of Spain, and all other universal church countrywide. Wear your mask. You cannot start your day without the worker's prayer. Monday to Saturday, 5.30 a.m. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago